what did you do outside the box during COVID that maybe you didn't do before in your coaching or, or training? Well, we formalized a lot of the informal conversations that we always had. So, so we did a lot of work with this summer of discontent. We did a lot of work on, on the Black Lives Matter movement. We did a lot of work on trying to f find out where our blind spots were as a team, where our blind spots were as a school, and engaging the guys on our team to talk about a lot of social issues. So that's one thing that I've always done, but we did it in a more formalized manner. Um, the other thing we did outside of the box is we did a lot of Zoom film work. So we would cut up edits, my assistant and myself both, we cut up edits for guys and we'd jump on Zooms and go through their edits. Or we'd find YouTube film of Dame Lillard or YouTube film of Draymond Green or you fill in the blank, you know, Paul Pierce using screens and footwork and, and we'd go over film with guys that way. And then the last thing we did, which I, I don't need, want to turn this into a coaching podcast, but we slowed down with our skill development, Corey, because we weren't allowed to play live when we first came back in the fall. And so all we could do was sort of one on oh skill development, which we've always done, but we did more of it. And we slowed down instead of trying to put stuff in, we just taught skill, 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 skill. And when we finally got to play in our five week bubble, golly, we made shots and our passes mm. were crisper. And, you know, I've spoken at a few virtual coaching clinics the last month and I've I've shared that with people like I think I'm actually going to continue to slow down and, and not try to teach so much. So, um, you know, there's a lot of silver lines that come out of it. And, and, and I, I would say, you know, it was a bit of a midlife crisis for me. I mean, it was a you know midlife crisis, I guess, a bad thing, sabbatical year. You know, I, my coaching staff and myself, we turned it into a sabbatical year. You know, I, we really tried to hone our craft. I lost 20 pounds. You know, I began to write in a, in a gratitude journal. Um, did a little yoga. Um, I've just tried to kind of restructure my life, pivot a little bit and come out the other end, a better coach, a better husband, a more healthy adult. Um, so we, we try to make it a, a positive sabbatical year. That's great. How do you feel after losing 20 pounds and doing yoga and all this stuff? <laughs> Listen, I want to be as, feeling as good as you look, man, but I, uh, I, you know, feel, feel better sleeping more and eating less and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be a better coach because of it. I think I'm, I'm I, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm a more functional adult right now than I was a year ago.